Professor Esposito, you've stated that a major problem underlying the financial crisis was not that the financial risk models we used were wrong, but that the models were perfectly correct. Could you explain what you mean by that point? I'm not sure that the models were correct, mm -hmm. but I, said, I meant that the problem is not so much the problem being right or wrong, because even if they were correct, there are some negative outcomes that comes out of the very use of models that make the markets and our society, our world, our financial world and our worlds altogether unpredictable because the very use of models adds an additional complexity to the world which models are usually not able to control or to predict. Regarding the SCAP, the Supervisory Capital Assessment Program, which was a bank stress uh, test introduced following the onset of the financial crisis. Why did the test succeed in the United States and fail in Europe? Uh, well, this idea that it succeeded in the United States and Europe, I have really not an explanation for, but I was uh, taking this as an example to show how to, to act on the market. It can be convenient in some cases not to use statistical, uh, probabilistic models, but rather to use models that refer to very unlikely events and to see how the market reacts uh, to the, well, to accept the expectations that are able to cope with these events. And for reasons that are well, basically outside the, the, the field of finance, apparently this strategy worked better in the United States than in Europe. So in a sense, um, with the interesting effect that a negative result, like the first um, stress test in the United States, um, had produced positive effects for the confidence of the markets, while a relatively positive result, like the one that we had in Europe, produce negative events. That's going to be an interesting example to show that there's no recipe on financial markets. You can, everything adapts to the, context, to the context and to the way markets observe the measures. What inspired you as a sociologist and expert in systems theory to want to study financial risk and the problems inherent to our financial risk models? <laughs> well, on the one hand, uh, in sociology, there's the concept of risk society, which is very uh, fascinating and very influential. And then there's no one in society where risk can be, or uncertainties, finance, uh, people in finance tend to, tend to label it, can be observed, can be dealt with in a more clear, fascinating way as in finance. 